the cat tier list. Right, so in my video on dinosaur builds, I casually referenced the fact that cheetahs are low tier, which ended with me getting a ton of comments from angry cheetah mains asking me to explain myself. And fair enough, I probably should. But instead of just making a video on cheetahs, I figured I'd kill two birds with one stone by also finally releasing the tier list for the cat dynasty. First, let's talk about the place cats as a whole are at in the meta. So I don't think it comes as a surprise to anyone that cats are exceptionally effective builds that have held a high tier spot in the meta for more than a while. And though this isn't true of every cat build, of which there are more than 40, cats carved out their spot in the meta by being the best choice by far for anyone looking to play an assassin or rogue class. Their weapons and movement kit are carefully crafted to allow cat players to have an easier time scoring critical hits on their targets than most other carnivore players. Like I said, there are more than 40 different builds possible, so I can't really fit them all into a- Dude, cats are so genocidal. Obligate carnivores, genocidal as f Dude, bloodthirsty freaks. Straight up. Cats are straight up bloodthirsty freaks, dude. Single video. So instead, I'm going to go over the most popular ones. And hopefully the way I analyze them will help you make your own call if you're interested in one of the less popular builds. So anyways, I'm going to start from the bottom of the tier list and go up from there. Right at the bottom, we've got the Cheetahs. They have the highest movement speed of any land build, which is definitely an impressive title to hold. When it comes to scoring kills on builds with high mobility like gazelles, antelope, and ostriches, there are a few better at it than the cheetah. But while this works against those particular targets Cheeto. in that particular situation, it serves no purpose when it comes to actually defending the kill. And as a result, a high percentage of the kills a cheetah gets end up getting stolen by lions and hyenas. Lol. Cheetahs need higher power and defense stats to actually be able to reap the benefits of their high mobility. The cheetah's inability to defend itself makes the early game extremely difficult for new cheetah players too. High level players can't prevent stronger builds from griefing the new cheetah players, and as a result, very few cheetahs even reach the late game where they can abuse their high mobility stat. Long story short, F tier because they get bodied way too hard by competing builds. In D tier we've got the Lynx. I don't have too much to say about them. They've got low medium stats across the board with- This is honestly surprising. I don't know too much about felines, but I don't know too much about cats in general. I, I avoid cats. I, I'm more of a dog person myself, but I, I thought cheetahs were like fucking crazy. Like I, I thought, I thought cheetahs were monsters and shit. You know what I mean? I, I thought they were really, really solid all around. You know what I mean? Like, this is very surprising that very surprising that like these builds that I would uh, overall think are like apex predators are not that With good. With the exception of stealth. And they do possess one relatively useful ability. The ability to move silently through snow. They're best at taking out small prey using stealth. But in my opinion, there are better choices for this type of playstyle, such as the owl or the viper. While they don't get grief- Low key, if cats had- if lynxes and shit had like better temperament, I feel like they'd be so cool to have as pets. I mean, they're murderous monsters, but like, they look super sick. Nearly as badly as cheetahs, they do have to watch out for cougars, wolves, and coyotes. One level higher and we reach the cougar. While its stealth is actually a bit lower than the lynxes, all other stats are a good bit higher, especially strength. However, you can find it's not this, quite strong. You can find them at your local watering hole. You know, this is a... A cougar is also... Uh, the cougar is also uh, created as a consequence of divorce court. Now, you, you, on the one hand, you have reactionary dads, you know, divorce dads, which uh, make up the base of the Republican Party. And also, on the other hand, you have uh, liberal wine moms, uh, also known as cougars, uh, another victim of divorce court. Divorce court literally separates this country in half. It slices the country in half politically. It either turns you into a reactionary dad who believes in QAnon conspiracies or... A reactionary liberal mom who thinks like Bernie Sanders supporters are bad because uh, they remind her of her father uh, who was neglectful and uh, and and that's her entire politics revolves around that um, that's 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 all I got on the cougar thing Strong and divorce court is what I mean like deer and elk without putting itself at risk for taking damage too. while it can climb pretty well it's most comfortable duking it out on the ground 
I've never discussed troll builds on this channel, but honestly the trolling potential with cougars is too good not to mention. Cougars lack access to the roar move, but that doesn't stop them from trying, and as a result, they have one of the craziest battle cries in the game. Instead of actually being useful as an intimidating sonic AoE, it instead sounds almost exactly like a woman being brutally murdered, which is one of the few ways to seriously mess with human players that invade their territory. There are two major styles players opt for when going for a cat build, the feline style and the panther style. All of the builds so far have been in the feline style, which generally has higher mobility but lower strength. Panther style cats, on the other hand, are stronger, bulkier, and also have access to the panther signature move, Roar. So we're finally going to switch gears over to the panther builds as we continue up the tier list. The leopard build is the next rung up on the tier list, being Africa's premier solo rogue class. Of the panther style builds, this is the smallest. This offers the leopard players maximum mobility while climbing, a trait they use to the fullest. While it is definitely stronger than the cheetah, it is still no match for gank squads like lions and hyenas. But unlike the cheetah, leopards actually have a way to avoid getting their kills stolen. Leopards can climb much better than any of their competitors, and they do have high enough strength to carry their kill up the tree. This allows them to gain all of the XP they deserve. I heard the cougar troll. That was fucking insane. I heard it from the bathroom while I was peeing. Not like a woman being murdered. These traits together are in the leopard high B tier. Now we're at A tier, and this is where the tier list gets a little muddy, since we've only got two tiers left to place quite a few more builds. If I'm being honest, even though I placed leopards in B tier, the snow leopard players, with their extra stealth bonus, have a strong argument for A tier. Anyways, at the bottom of A tier, we have the largest of the cats, the tiger. Not many unique abilities, but generally- I mean, they're- wait, they're- they're a balanced build, but they're getting fucking absolutely cumstered by humans, though. Just very high stats. While tigers do have decent stuff. If they were well, if they were well, if they were versatile and also well balanced as a build, they just wouldn't get fucking, they wouldn't get extinct. They rely more on their sheer power for winning fights. This allows them to take out tough and dangerous players like the boar. One top tier ability they do have is their incredibly powerful jump, making them deceptively mobile oh! while appearing to have only average speed. What the fuck? Overall, if the tier list was simply about who would win in a one-on-one -on -one fight, Tigers would be S tier, no doubt. Man, yeah, I watched fucking Tiger King too. We all know there's more Tigers in captivity in Texas than the rest of the fucking world, dude. Unfortunately, that isn't the case, because even though they'd lose in a one-on-one -on -one fight with a Tiger, Lions are undoubtedly more viable overall. If you watch my videos a lot, you know I see coordinated attacks as one of the most overpowered strats in the whole game and lions are basically the poster child for coordinated attacks. So far, most of the other cats we've talked about all generally target players playing squishy targets, but lion players are some of the only ones bold enough to deliberately attack a tank. Their highly organized parties they form allow them to control entire sections of the map, and their defined roles prevent- I thought, I thought male lions didn't uh, do the, the hunting. I thought it was the female lion that does the hunting while the male lion literally just fucking lays around all day. And then it's a myth. What do you mean? It's a myth, brother. I, I mean, what, like is David Attenborough lying to me? I like, I saw it in a documentary 100%. I think I saw it in a documentary in, um, what do you call it in, in, uh, I think it was like the IMAX theater in, in fucking New Jersey and like the, was it Benjamin Franklin uh, Plaza or whatever? No, it's not. Males will live together before joining a pride. It's true. Male lions don't usually hunt unless they are no, there are no females in the pride. Yeah. Male lions just fucking chill all day and they literally wait. No, he's a sex piece of shit like all scientists. You're talking about facts that were discovered in the Victorian era, my dude. Wait, what? Are you saying that... People who fucking look at animal patterns and movements and shit are, are blinded by their sexism? Yes, actually true. Wait, what? Oh God, you're going to give me like some fucking study. No, I'm saying the things you're taking for granted are outdated. No, I don't think that person is trolling me. I think that person is being very honest. Maybe a little bit too much. Of course, male alliance hunt. No. Male lions, from what I understand, literally 
chill and sit around and fucking sleep for most of the goddamn day. Okay. Female lions do all the goddamn work, do the hunting, do everything. Uh, and then, uh, the male lion literally fucking has sex for like 24 hours straight one day out of the year. And then the rest of it, he's just sleeping for the most part and protecting the pride, but that's it. Bro, you learn about wildlife from SpongeBob. What part of SpongeBob would talk about male lions fucking for 24 hours? Once out of one year out of the, you literally watch them hunt right now. That's why I'm saying I'm surprised. Male lions leave a pride at a certain age and form groups before joining another pride. Yeah, this is like some Nat Geo shit. It's not like fucking. Anyway, male lions hunt. They hunt usually alone. There's more female lions in the pride, so therefore they are seen hunting more. <laughs> Why do female lions let the male lion essentially do nothing while they, they do the majority of the hunting? I've always found this weird. The male lions cannot hunt because of their mane. If they would try to hunt, they would die a heat death because the body, especially in the head, cannot get rid of the excess heat produced by uh, produced during the heavy activity hunting is basically is a master of uh, the matter of evolution. But don't ask me why the male lions really need slash have that mane. That's nonsense. Male lions do in fact hunt even male lions living in prides. However, they are lone hunters, whereas female lions cooperate. Why did you send me this link? It's just like totally made up, dude. It's like a minus 4.7 year. It's a seven-year-old comment that has like minus four points on Reddit, and it, it it's like no such thing as an alpha male. Reminder: the scientists who coined the term alpha male to describe wolves abandoned it as useless years ago. It is a term that was developed to talk about wolves that have been held captive and conditioned weirdly by humans. Lol, what really? David Mech introduced the idea of an alpha described behavior observed in captive animals. Alphas he wrote in the 1970s book, The Wolf, Ecology and Behavior of Endangered Species. By the way, this has literally nothing to do with fucking alpha males. Remember, like you are pulling data from, a com from an entirely separate conversation. I am not talking about alpha males and leaders of the pack or some shit like that. What I'm specifically talking about is how lions operate and how prides operate. Okay. And the, the, the reason why you're like the fact that you're sending this to me, which is a completely unrelated conversation piece leads me to believe that you unironically anthropo anthropomorphize animals in this weird Disney fucking way. Okay. You're probably vegan too. And also on top of that, the reason why you're looking at it in this way is because you're applying like human social conditioning and gender roles to what is otherwise something you are observing in nature in an unrelated species. Okay. Very weird to like, be like, Oh, this is sexist. Lions only home when the prey is huge. They're desperate or they aren't in a pride Lions only home when the prey is huge. In my primatology course, I learned how early male scientists not only killed apes, which was stupid for studying as well as they would just make up shit about apes. Okay. But that's not about this at all. Why are people saying grug? The female lions work while the male stays at home and cooks. That's the opposite of grug. Yeah, the other thing about the lions is that like lion, male lions are like deadbeat dads and the female lion like literally does everything. She hunts. Like that's, I thought that's like third wave feminism if you want to look at it that way, I guess. He's trying to tell you he's a vegan without telling you he's a vegan. Remember when I said maybe I'll have a no stun lock day? Well, guess that's not today, boys. Lion males don't hunt as much as females myth. The truth about lions from the Smithsonian Magazine. Biologists long believe that lions band together to hunt prey, but Craig Packer, okay, this is that they don't hunt uh, together. Packer threw another stone unimpressed. Lion briefly turned his back. This one, what the fuck is this story? I don't care about this shit. Just tell me the fucking thing, dude. Male lions. New study shows how they hunt. From 2013, male lions are proven to be successful hunters despite beliefs that females do all the work. While female lions hunt in the open savanna, males tend to hunt in a place with more brush and vegetation. Research says the study shows that vegetation can affect animal life on the savanna by strongly linking male lion hunting behavior to dense vegetation. This study suggests a change of the vegetation structure. 
such as uh, through fire management, could greatly alter the balance of predators and prey with large mammals increasingly confined. Did you just say, so you were wrong? Are you fucking stupid? It's literally saying that when the fucking vegetation changes, the gender roles change, implying that the original gender role for the female lion is the dominant hunter rather than the opposite, which is literally what I'm saying. Male lions also tend to hunt alone, making their surprise their strategy necessary. This differs from female lions, which tend to hunt cooperatively. I'm not going to click on a fucking uh, uh, medium article. You said male lions didn't hunt at all. We were watching a video of male lions hunting and I said, I'm surprised. I thought male lions didn't do hunting at all. I thought it was the female lion that did most of the work, including all, nearly all of the hunting. But given the fact that there's so much uh, talking about the lion was photographed. Male lions don't hunt because they do and guard the pride lands perimeter to save generic lineage from being killed off. Yeah, that's what I thought. I thought male lions are uh, supposedly the protector, right? And they do the, um, their duty is mostly just protection. And it's usually the females that are doing most of the hunting. It's one of those things that you like, that sticks with you when you watch a fucking documentary and then someone turns around and says like, no, you're fucking wrong because here's evidence that a male lion has hunted. We're talking about who is, hunt who is doing most of the hunting in a pride. The articles just say they don't do nothing. You are still correct. No, you said they lay around, haha. -ha. Yeah, they do. They mostly lay around. They sleep for like long ass fucking periods of time. Don't they? I mean, am I wrong about everything I've learned? How long does a male lion sleep for? Yeah. They spend between 16 to 20 hours each day resting and sleeping. They have a few sweat glands, so they wisely tend to conserve their energy by resting during the day and become more active at night when it's cooler. Lions sleep like 18 hours a day. Most of the pride are lioness, so of course they do most of the hunting, but you need to look at this per capita. You call them deadbeat dads? They are deadbeat dads. All right, let's keep going. And also protect newer players from gankers. All in all, yeah. great build. Easily A plus tier. And finally, we've reached the top tier. The build that embodies everything. So now as a joke, yes, me saying lions are deadbeat dads has always been a joke. You dumb fuck. I also don't think cougars literally are a consequence of divorce court. Oh my god. I- Oh god. Oh god, I hate- I hate you. I hate you. That one chatter, individually, you, know that I hate you, okay? Know that and live with that reality. You are a piece of shit. That one individual chatter who said, oh, now it's a joke? You are literally the worst person in the chat today. Congratulations for being the worst person I've encountered on the internet today, okay? Excellent about the cat dynasty, the Jaguar. Jaguars are the absolute best build in the entire game when it comes to one-shotting players with a critical hit. They have the most damaging bite of any of the cats, enough to pierce armor and their incredible accuracy lets them nail their target right in the weak point, the back of the head. Oof. They may not have the raw stats that the lion and tiger do, but they more than make up for it with their special abilities. The most important is their incredible eyes, which negate all stealth bonuses. Most cats have great vision and can even see in darkness, but the jaguar can even see a target obscured by camouflage or hiding in murky water. The second, less obvious perk is that jaguars are the most versatile cat build available. They're great sprinters and pristine climbers, but they're also just as much at home hunting in the water as they are in a tree. No other build can boast dominance in the arboreal, terrestrial, and aquatic map zones. They really do dominate. Lions act like they own the place, but they do face plenty of competition. But jaguars, they do own the place. They could carry their food up a tree if they wanted to, but there's no need. So yeah, a build that can one-shot anything on its server and dominates three of the four main play zones. That's your S tier. So there you have it, the tier list of the cats. Thanks for watching. Oh, did I forget something? Yeah, you buggers are getting your own video.